This is TJ. In this video, I want to quickly go over five programs that are excellent media collection organizers for your media on your computer. These programs are Songbird, Media Monkey, Xbox Media Center, VLC Player, and Calibre. And all of these programs are completely free to download and use. Um, the only exception would, might be Media Monkey, which has a limited free version and also a premium paid version. Um, but the rest of them are all open source software and, and uh, very, very open in their licensing. These first two programs, Songbird and Media Monkey, are very similar to iTunes. This first one we're looking at is Songbird, and it just has a very, very similar feel and interface to iTunes. You can also you can stream podcasts. You can there's lots of different plugins and extensions for it, um, and just a pretty cool program. Um, also, this next one, Media Monkey, also very pretty similar um, to iTunes and Songbird. Um, and it also has features where you can you can burn DVDs, you can rip music off of DVDs to add to your collection and things like that. Media Monkey also plays has video playback and and video organization. Um, Xbox Media Center is just a media center for your computer. It can be a standalone installation, like a, like a complete operating system. Um, you can use it for that's, uh, videos here. So you can use it for video playback. It'll show you a little thumbnail of the video. Um, if we go to a video we've already started watching, it says, do you want to resume from this position? We can say, yeah. Okay. And uh, so it has video playback as well as uh, audio. And you can do pictures. Let's see here. Do, do, do. You can just view view through your picture. Um, what else? Lots of other things, actually. You can actually check the weather on it. Um, it'll download information about the the audio or music you're listening to, um, and get pulled data off the internet, off of databases, music and video databases. You can get programs like you can run. Um, Get different emulators for Nintendo for gaming systems and things like that. So it's a it's a cool program to look into if you want to, if you have like a home theater in your house and you want to have it controlled by your computer and your collection stored by your computer that way. This next one VLC player um, also has video playback. Um, it'll play all kind uh, many many different kinds of audio and video formats um, as well as it can capture your your computer desktop you can ca you can do a video capture from your webcam you can and you can stream that um, you can also um, if you have a tuner for digital TV you can watch TV on it through this program digital TV um, just lots and lots of support for anything relating to video and audio you can stream network video and you can watch like if you're downloading a video and it's only partially downloaded you can still watch um, partial segments and incomplete parts of videos with it. So a very, very cool program. Um, but it doesn't really organize and, and uh, organize your media very well. It's just for playback. This last one is Calibre is an ebook management program. And it'll have, it'll show you all your cover art. You can edit and modify the metadata. You can also sync it with the internet just like you can with all the rest of the programs I showed you. You can sync and update the metadata from databases online. Um, but something cool about this program is you can also convert ebooks from one format to another, say EPUB to Mobi or MBP to PDF. So you can convert um, between your different formats to be compatible with your devices. You can sync your devices um, here, your e-readers, so you can download and upload books. So it's a cool program. And then really quickly before we finish, I want to show you two more. Um, there's FUBAR 2000 and Media Player Classic. They're both Windows only programs and uh, FUBAR 2000 is a free program. It's not open source. Um, but uh, FUBAR 2000 is a very, very lightweight audio player. It's audio player only. And it's just lightweight and it's a nice, simple, easy, um, easy media, uh, audio player. And then Media Player Classic um, the reason I have it, I, I like it a lot, is because it'll play MIDI files right out of the box, whereas none of the rest of these will. And it'll also play video. Um, it's pretty competitive with VLC Player as far as the um, formats that it supports. And you can also get plugins and extensions to get, or um, yeah, extensions to, to make the program play more different types of video and audio. Anyway, those are the programs I wanted to share with you today. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out my other videos, and go ahead and rate and comment and get involved with the 
uh, the YouTube community. And I hope to see you watching some of my other videos soon. Thanks.